So this is probably the first time that my skate video plans had been disrupted because of the rain in Barcelona. My plan was to hit the stairs. No, not these stairs, heck no. There's a two set, three set and a four set near the beach. And it seems doable, I mean, by my standards. Instead, I'm going to do a quick Q&A. I haven't really announced this, but I have collected a lot of questions over the past two years, mostly on Instagram and through comments. Um, I have answered those individually, but I haven't really made a Q&A video. So here goes nothing. This isn't really planned, but uh, I'll try and do my best. Okay, so the main question that I get asked is, why did I pick up skateboarding for the first time at 28? Why so late? Well, none of my friends skateboarded. Uh, in London, most kids are interested in football and I wasn't too interested in football. I played football a lot, but I wasn't really interested. I only played it because my friends were interested. Uh, I wasn't really exposed to skateboarding. I did play Tony Oaks Pro Skater 3. Uh, that was my first skate game. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but I never thought of buying a board and skateboarding. So it all started when I wanted to spice up my commute. I had a 20 minute walk to the station to take a train to work and on the way back another 20 minutes. So 40 minutes of walking a day uh, got quite boring. So I bought myself a cruiser board and yeah, I just remember stepping on that cruiser for the first time and slipping out. It took me a while to, to learn how to just cruise. Uh, but it got really fun uh, and I did that for a while and then Pete who you may have seen in some of my videos Saw my cruiser board wanted to have a go and then a week later He went out and bought a proper skateboard and he was like, what's the point of a cruiser? You know, this is more fun. You can learn tricks while you're at it uh, And then a week later, I got my skateboard and we started skateboarding together. We really enjoyed it We pretty much went out skateboarding once a week. It's raining bad. I might have to take this inside. I mean, it's not raining that bad. Uh, I just don't want to damage this camera because I'm broke. I can't afford another camera. Okay, the rain seems to have stopped. So where were we? Yeah, I was skateboarding with Pete for a while before I moved to Barcelona. And I've been in Barcelona for about eight months, nine months. I don't speak a word of Spanish yet. Uh, I'm working on that. Now, I skate mostly alone, but it's by choice. I have made friends here. Uh, the problem is, is that I skate early in the morning and most people can only skate in the evening. So that's why I mostly skate alone. Catalonia. Catalonia. No, Spain. I'm with you. Catalonia. Yeah. Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, where were we? The other question that I get asked a lot is how do you have fun skateboarding alone? I know it sounds sad, but um, sometimes people have no choice. You may live in an area where people are not that accepting of skateboarding. You may have no skate parks or the weather might be crap and the only, way, the only place you can skate is in your garage or something. Well, I try to set myself challenges. At the moment, I'm working on a challenge where I can do a line of at least six tricks. My record is five, so I'm trying to beat that record, which makes it fun. Also making videos uh, so I can interact with other people, maybe not physically, but I read all your comments and uh, your tips on how I could improve. And they help me out a lot. Uh, and I follow other skate YouTubers and try to interact with them as well, which makes the process a little bit more fun. You may get anxious going to the skate park for the first time, but the only way you can get over it is just by going and realizing that people don't really care. You know, as long as you do your own thing and don't bother others and have fun and you start to make friends. So just go and you'll see that you'll get over your fears. What else? What board should I buy? I started off with a 775, now I ride an 8.2. I think around an 8 would be a wise choice. You can obviously experiment, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, don't overthink it. Just go out and buy uh, a cheap board. Things like trucks and 
the deck doesn't really matter too much in the beginning because all you would be doing is riding and learning how to ollie so don't spend too much money um, you will go through your skate stuff quite often i mean i never had to change my uh, trucks but i do have to change the board quite often i think i need to change this board because that's the tail and it's kind of getting messed up or I'm just making excuses to buy a new deck. The question that I get asked often is, do I ride my trucks tight or loose or should I start riding them tight? Maybe in the beginning you should ride them tight, but I'm not an expert. Uh, I guess it could be a matter of preference. Now I ride them really loose, well, as loose as I, I feel comfortable with. I personally feel more comfortable landing tricks on loose trucks than tight trucks. Tight trucks seem to spring out a bit more. Uh, I should have planned this properly and written down all the questions. I suck at this. Yeah. Full of foreigner people. Too many, like me, too many foreigners. That's true. We don't know yet, we'll see. <laughs> don't worry about that. Now the police say you We're not allowed to record. We didn't get kicked out. Truth is, I had to run home to do a poo. And then I had to have a shower. And totally forgot to end this video. Now it's a few days later. And uh, actually today I went out for a quick skate session with a German lad who found me on Instagram. We spent the morning learning new tricks. Eric is going for his first frontside 180. You got this. Oh yeah. Nice man. Ooh. What's that? Two new tricks today. Yeah, boy. I tried to frontside 180 up a curve. Didn't work out. Anywho, I would like to thank you for the love and support. In the next video, I will be ollieing the stairs. So, yeah, uh, I will see you in a few days' time. I hate ending videos. Maybe this is why I forget to do them.